Thank you for joining this week at DesignWorks TV. Our programming team and engineering team has came together to provide a brand new product to you, the SOLIDWORKS user. The product is DesignWorks Pro Mesh. It's designed for the person who has a white light scanner, a laser, or any type of device that can use an OBJ or STL file. So let's get started. This module blends in nicely with our other tools. You've known us for years for our probing tools and laser scanning tools, but now we're actually having a new module for laser scanning, white light, anything that has OBJ or STL. In the command manager, you notice some new tools. We're first gonna go load a mesh. Again, this can be an OBJ or STL. So let's load up this uh, electric screwdriver. You notice how fast it is. This is the mesh. Now this mesh can be used in conjunction with model space. So if you don't want to create features on it or you need to slice or remodel, you can do that as well. We understand that you may not do this as a SOLIDWORKS engineer every day. So we've made this very fast and efficient. In this first demonstration, we're going to talk about making this part to make a mold. So let's go use our mesh surfacing tool. And we're going to assume that we're going to make a mold with two halves. So I've selected two surfaces. We've automated most of this, so you, the SOLIDWORKS user, don't have to go through a bunch of settings. We're going to automatically use a split plane in the middle, but the split plane can be placed wherever you want. We're simply going to say create surface. It's going to go through and review the mesh and split it into two surfaces for you to use. It's very fast and efficient. If you don't know us, our engineering team does hundreds of parts a year. When they teamed up with the developers, they knew what they wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how fast and efficient it is. Because again, we know you don't do this every day. And our team runs into all kinds of problems from the type of parts we do. So that's where a lot of these ideas came from, from the, the troubles that we have, so you don't have to go through those. So this has gone through and it's about finished um, creating the surface on uh, the first half. Then you'll notice it'll create on the second half and this model is going to appear directly inside the SOLIDWORKS tree. At that point, you can do whatever you want to do with it. We could make a core for it um, and we're going to do some other things with this. But again, we wanted to show you how fast and efficient the product was. We're, you notice how you're getting feedback constantly that something's happening. In this case, it's done finishing side one. It's working on side two. We're just about finished here, and we're going to go ahead and then use the model. We'll show you how there's other ways to use this in case you don't just need to make, you know, two complete wrapped hats. You can actually come in and paint different faces. You can do features, whatever you want to do. So our part is done. There's your surfaced model directly in the SOLIDWORKS feature tree. There's our split plane. There's your two halves. Let's take a look once. Let's hide one of these halves. So you can look inside. You'll see how nice this builds. This is not, you know, thousands of little patches. There's two surfaces here. That's advantage of our in-house programming team. This mesh modular is a proprietary engine that we own. So let's take a look once and we'll turn the other side back on. Let's take a look and see how accurate the features are. Let's save our part. We're now going to go ahead and use our feature to mesh validation tool. This tool can be used on the complete part or an individual. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one of these at a time because I want to look through it. So I'm going to pick the uh, this surface and I'll go ahead and hide this for now. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the feature to mesh validation tool. I'm going to select the feature and again this can be hidden or shown. I'm going to actually suppress it because I want to look through the part once. So I'm going to pick this area to be validated and I'm going to say visualize errors. 
So this is going to show us a deviation from part to model. Looking completely through the model itself. So real time, you can come in here and move the mouse over it and show you how accurate it is. You can see in most cases we're holding tenths or a thousandths. Some of the areas are very, very hard to wrap, but you can also see a min-max. So if we bump up the tolerance, we can also show how you can hide it. So I can look here and see my max. It's just a great way to show the full deviation and it's real time. In most cases we're holding tents. So that gives you the complete solution from going from mesh to surface to full validation. Tune in next week for more videos for the new DesignWorks Pro Mesh and have a great day.